Hey everyone and welcome to Rock the JVM's Kotlin at Lightspeed mini course, in which in a couple of hours you're going to have a practical taste of this amazing programming language. My name is Daniel and I am a software engineer and instructor. I made this website called Rock the JVM in which I teach a variety of programming languages including Kotlin, Scala and many others. My courses have reached more than 100,000 engineers at this point and I've also had the privilege of running in-person training sessions for some of the best companies in the world including Google, Adobe, Apple, and many others. So you're in good hands for this course. My specialties include Scala, Kotlin, Big Data with Apache Spark, and a variety of other libraries and technologies. If you want to check out my work, you can go to rockthejvm.com. I have hundreds of hours, literally, of free and premium material. And you can reach out to me at daniel at rockthejvm.com for any questions about this material that you're watching right now, or if you want to have me run some training sessions for your team, you can reach out to me at daniel at rockthejvm.com. Now, Kotlin is an amazing programming language. It runs on top of the Java virtual machine, but not only. It's also a multi-paradigm language in the sense that you can style your code differently, so it supports multiple modes of thinking, including functional programming, as we will see in some of the later parts of this series. And it offers multi-platform capabilities, so you can use the same Kotlin code to run JVM applications for other server-side or Android or multi-platform applications, including the web and even iOS. Its popularity has been increasing and the developers are increasingly well paid. So if you're looking to grow your career as a software engineer, you have every reason to learn the Kotlin programming language, which is why I made this Kotlin at Lightspeed miniseries, in which I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of Kotlin in just a couple of hours, the time it takes to watch a movie. The requirements are that you have programmed before, because I'm not going to stress on the computer science fundamentals, and this is a pretty fast paced course. So I'm gonna require your focus here. And if you're willing to follow me for the next couple of hours, you're also going to get some code under your belt because we're gonna write a couple of hundred lines of code from scratch because I believe that code is king and we should write it from scratch in order to learn best. And this is what we're also going to do in these videos. Now, if you wanna check out Kotlin at Lightspeed on Rock the JVM, it's available for free as an online course. And I'm gonna give you the entire code that I write on camera so that you can use it for whatever project or for your own learning, as well as a download feature that will allow you to keep videos for offline view at any time that you want. Now, this mini series is meant to give you a sense of what Kotlin looks like and how you can use it. If you are interested in Kotlin really deep and really practical, I have a long form video course called Kotlin Essentials in which we are going to write not hundreds, but thousands of lines of code, including a little practical project with image processing, which I think you'll find pretty cool. So if you want, you can check out Kotlin Essentials on Rock the JVM if you want to get some really hands-on experience with Kotlin. So please enjoy this mini series and I hope you'll get a lot of value out of it. I'm not gonna waste any time, so let's get started. All right, at this point, we're ready to get started with Kotlin in this mini series, Kotlin at Lightspeed. In this part, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to get started. So without further ado, I'm gonna ask you to go to jetbrains.com forward slash idea. This is where we're going to install IntelliJ IDEA, the development environment for Kotlin and also Java and other languages. So go to jetbrains.com forward slash idea, hit this download button, and then navigate to the Community Edition section here on the page and hit this black download button to download IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, which is free. So go ahead and download that if you don't have IntelliJ IDEA already. The setup should be quite straightforward. So you can pause the video and download and install IntelliJ IDEA now. Cool. After you install IntelliJ IDEA, the next thing that we want to make sure you have installed is a Java Development Kit, or JDK. At the moment of this recording, we have JDK long-term support versions 17 and 21. I recommend that you use JDK 17, so you can do JDK 17 downloads, and you can go to the Oracle homepage, and you can install Java 21 and Java 17 for your platform, so Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. And for every operating system, you have various installers and installer kinds. For example, for Mac, you have for Intel, which is x64, and ARM64 for Apple Silicon. And likewise, for Windows, Linux, you have various combinations. So you can pause the video and download the latest long-term support GDK for your platform now. Okay, sweet. So with IntelliJ IDEA and a JDK installed, once you open IntelliJ IDEA, it should show something like this with a list of projects. If you've worked in IntelliJ IDEA before, I'm going to hit new project and I'm going to select new project here on the left and call this Kotlin at light 
speed. I'm going to place it somewhere on my desktop. The language from the language selector, I'm going to select a Kotlin, obviously. The build system is not really all that important, but I'm going to select Maven here. And the JDK should have an option here in the dropdown if you have a JDK already. If you don't, you can go add a JDK and point to the path where you've just downloaded the Oracle JDK from the Oracle homepage. So make sure you have a JDK here in the dropdown. I think you can also set IntelliJ to download a JDK for you if the Oracle JDK cannot be found or if you've placed it somewhere else. So you can download here in IntelliJ as well. So after you've selected these settings, name the project, location, Kotlin, Maven, and a JDK, you can hit create. And this is gonna open up in a snap. And this project is a plain IntelliJ project for Kotlin. We're gonna spend all of our time in this mini series under the source folder. So in SRC, main Kotlin, and I'm going to create a new package. I'm going to call this com.rock.jvm. This is standard practice in JVM languages. For example, in Scala and in Java, this thing is probably second nature to you if you've done any one of those languages before. And here under com.rock.jvm, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select new Kotlin class or file. I'm going to call this playground. And I'm going to make it an object. So scroll all the way down and select object here. I'm going to describe what an object is later in this mini series. And I'm going to type in main, which will help IntelliJ IDEA suggest a template for you, which is a runnable application. So once you type in main and hit enter or main control space and enter, you'll get this little template for a runnable Kotlin application. So this is now runnable. So if you right click on the code and hit run, this will run a standalone JVM application, or you can hit any one of these play buttons, either here in IntelliJ or here next to the code on the left, you can say run playground and it will do the same thing. So this will compile and run this Kotlin code, which currently doesn't do anything. If you wanted to do something, you can say print line. So print LN, for example, ready to rock. So you can right click and run this and you'll have your so-called hello world application up and running. So we have ready to rock. And at this point, we can get started with some Kotlin features. So join me in the next part where I'm going to start discussing the Kotlin basics.